uh, after my last video couple of you have emailed me and asked me to make a tutorial on moving platforms like those in my game so that is what I'll show you today here I have a simple scene with two platforms and a player with a moving script script to move left and right and a ground check so we can check when player can jump if you want I can go through movement in unity in some other video but for now we will stick to moving platforms so the first thing we are gonna do is we are gonna create an empty game object we are going to name it platform and we want to tag it as a platform and if you don't have this platform tag here you can add tag click on this plus button and add platform tag I do have it so I'm just gonna tag it okay now we are going to add sprite to this platform object I've got these sprites on open game art they are free so just grab sprite and make it a child to this object now we're gonna just reset the position of sprite and reset the position of a parent and we're gonna resize the sprite so it's a little bit bigger like that and center it just like that okay now we are gonna add a box collider 2d and make sure to add a box collider to the parent object not the child object edit it whatever way you like I'm just gonna simple edit it doesn't really matter for this okay just like that okay now we are gonna create another empty game object we are gonna name it moving platform and we are gonna reset its position and make this platform a child to that moving platform like that and now we are gonna create two more empty game objects we are gonna name it position 1 and position 2 and we are gonna make them a child to moving platform just like that okay now we got our scene set up so we go to C sharp scripting go to the platform and add component and search for script and go to new script and name it moving platform or you can name it whatever you like and click create a net so now we wait for unity to create a new C sharp script and there it is a moving platform script was added to this platform object double click it to open it now we wait and there it is a moving platform dot cs so in here right after this class definition we want to add public transform position one position two and we want to add public float speed which will be a speed uh, movement speed for for our platform and we will need public transform start position and vector 3 next position so in start function right here we will say next position is equal to start position dot position and in update we want to ask if transform dot position is equal to 
position one dot dot position and if it is we want to do next position is equal to position two dot position and we want to do that one more time but this time it's reverse if transform dot position is equal to position two dot position next posi position is equal to position one dot position and still in update we'll say transform dot position is equal to vector three dot move towards and parameters are transform dot position next position and speed multiplied by time dot delta time that will fix a frame rate and that's it for now so now if you go to unity we can take position one and we can color it green for example and we can go position two position two and we can color it red okay so now we can position them like that and position two like that and we can take this platform and move it down in the same level as our positions now we want to go to our player movement script and I'm gonna go to ground check script because that's where the collisions are for my player we will need this function void on collision enter and here I check if it collides with ground so the unity knows that he is on the ground and he can jump so it doesn't allow him to jump in the air and in this function on collision enter we will need another if statement we want to check if collision dot collider uh, dot tag is equal to platform but double equal because it's if statement that's why we added that tag platform so we can check collision with it uh, also at the start of the script we will need a public game object you can name it whatever you like I'm gonna name it player and here in this if statement we want to say player dot transform dot parent equals to collision dot game object dot transform and that will make our character a child to the platform so it can move on platform so when you collide with platform you can stay on it and you can ride on it basically and now we need another function it's called on collision exit 2d and in here we want to say layer dot transform dot parent equals to null so basically we want to reverse this so when you jump off the platform you're not riding on it again so now if we save all of this and we go back to unity and it will take a little to load we click platform and here we can see our moving platform script 
and in position one slot we drag our position one position two to position two slot speed we can set to two for example and for start position we can set position one and in our ground check or whatever script it is for you with your collisions you drag your player character to this slot and now we can take our platform and drag it to its start position which is position one and if we click play we should see a platform moving and it should go back and you can jump on it and you can ride on it and you jump out and jump back again and it's working so that's it our platform is moving and you can jump on it and move i really love doing stuff like this so if you have any questions feel free to ask and i will try to make a video about it and explain it well thanks for watching and see ya